Good morning, everyone. It's Christoph Chu from Coldwell Banker Beverly Hills, and it's a cool, cloudy fall Sunday morning. It's about 75 degrees, and I'm heading to a showing of one of my new listings here in the Stone Canyon area of Bel Air, a property called the Villa Bosphorus, uh, listed for $9.75 million. And I haven't done a driving tour of Stone Canyon in a while, so I thought I would do a new one. So I just turned off of Sunset Boulevard just to the north, and I just came up on Stone Canyon Road. It's kind of right in the middle or towards the eastern part of Bel Air. And uh, actually this is a house that we can't really see it. A friend of mine purchased. And uh, there's another beautiful house under construction here in Bel Air. That last house was originally owned by Jack Douglas, the owner of John Douglas Company, the company I started with back in 1989. And I remember some wonderful parties there with Jack before he passed away. And uh, then it was, uh, he had rebuilt the house from an original 1960s mid-century kind of Regency contemporary into a very large, beautiful contemporary Mediterranean. And then uh, friends of mine purchased that house uh, about eight, nine years ago. I think at the time it was around 20 million, if I'm not mistaken. So I just turned up here, continuing north on Stone Canyon. This is Bellagio Road. And Stone Canyon is just west of Bel Air Road. Bel Air Road is the main and most luxurious part of Bel Air. This is a home, uh, you can't really see it from here, but it was recently built. It's a 45,000 square foot French chateau style residence, and it's quite beautiful. Quietly on the market for 150 million. And those of you that have been watching the LA real estate market, we've had uh, three recent sales in the last month for 90 million in Homeby Hills, 100 million in Homeby Hills, and another one for 100 million in Homeby Hills. So the super high end is going kind of crazy here in LA. Sorry about that. I want to show you another house that sold back, gosh, about eight or nine years ago, and um, forget about the price, but really a beautiful traditional that was completely taken down to the studs and then redone. Very, very beautiful house. We're coming here onto the um, Bel Air Hotel, or Hotel Bel Air as they call it, one of LA's most popular hotels. It's the only commercial property here in Bel Air, and it's one of the nicest hotels tucked away in the middle of all these very expensive homes. And uh, it's really special. And they have a Wolfgang Puck restaurant that uh, Wolfgang opened there a few years ago after the two-year renovation. Up the street here is an interesting project. It's uh, three different parcels on Tortuoso Way. They're all for sale with homes that can be custom-built, I believe, up to about $150 million. And here is the valet parking entrance of the Hotel Bel Air. Hotel Bel Air is a great place to come for lunch or drinks after dinner. There's the Hotel Bel Air sign. And a uh, great place for weddings and parties and uh, confirmations and bar mitzvahs. We've been to many, many different parties there, and it's a really, really wonderful place. It has a stream. It's very green and lush, as you can tell, which is all of Stone Canyon, uh, which is one of the reasons why people love to live here. It takes about five to seven minutes to get to downtown Beverly Hills, and yet you're in a very quiet, country-like atmosphere with lots of trees, lots of greenery, very cool in the summer, and it's just a nice country living. And a lot of people like to be near the city. Well, that's, oh, it's a property I sold a couple years ago for over two million. It was in the downturn of the market in the late 2000s, and I listed it for a million nine, and we had 16 offers the first day just from our open house, no ads, and we sold it for a couple hundred thousand over asking, and uh, the buyer was from the UK. He purchased it sight unseen, subsequently tore down the house, and built a new, what looks like about a 15,000 square foot uh, vacation residence. I have not seen it since it was built, not for sale. So um, just anyway, a little, one of the houses I've sold here on Stone Canyon. Lots of 1930s, 1940s traditional style homes. Uh, that's very typical here of Stone Canyon. But oops, let me move the camera so you can see a little bit better. I forgot to bring my tripod this morning and usually I have one in the car, but traveling to Hawaii, um, not Hawaii, to Miami, which is like Hawaii, I forgot to bring the tripod. So lots of uh, Mediterranean style homes, Spanish colonial, traditional. Some guy's taking some pictures. Oh, maybe that's coming up for sale. <laughs> Better keep my eyes open. Here we will continue down. So my listing's coming up on a couple blocks here. And uh, so prices here on Stone Canyon today really start at about four and a half million. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything lately less than about the four and a half million range kind of starting point. 
I think the most expensive currently is that $150 million one. Um, uh, J-Lo just purchased a house up here up the street for close to $40 million. Uh, I forget the name of the actress that owned it before her. And again, they like it because, you know, the privacy and the seclusion. And Stone Canyon is not a through street. So if you don't live on Stone Canyon or off of Stone Canyon, you really wouldn't be on here. So as you can see, I've been driving now for about five minutes. And, and there's been uh, maybe, what, six cars coming down? So here's another beautiful, typical Stone Canyon house. They're not flashy. Oh, this house here is uh, a house that's for rent for 50000 a month. Uh, it's also, I don't know if it's for sale. I forgot if it's for sale or not. Um, clients of mine purchased that house over there. Something new will be going on over there in the near future. Lots of construction here in Bel Air. This is another house that sold, I think about a year ago. I think it sold in the five million range. And now it's been completely rebuilt. Sorry for the camera shaking, guys. Next time, I promise I'll have my tripod. <laughs> as another nice Georgian traditional or Georgian revival or colonial I should say. So we're coming soon to my listing. And I'll have to get off because I've got a showing here coming up in a few minutes. I got to get the house ready. But yeah, this is just a really wonderful neighborhood. And again, if you want the peace and serenity and quiet, this is the place to be. Um, it is a canyon, so it does get the sun a little later in the morning. And the sun does set a little earlier in the afternoon because, again, you are in the bottom kind of the canyon unless you're way at the top. So that's my listing up there on the left, the Villa, Villa Bosphorus. It's quite a lovely traditional Mediterranean European villa. So I got to go, guys. See you soon.